Hey guys, it's Drek, and today I have got in the Orange Mod Works Unleashed Performance Kit Stage 1 for the Nerf Recon. This is going to be a lot of fun to work with. To show this to you, I unboxed my clear recon. It's completely stock, so I'm going to show you what you need to do start to finish. To start off with, let's remove all of these accessories and get it down to the bare bones recon. Now, the recon firing stock darts. I can get maybe 30 feet angled. It's not a very good blaster. That said, with this performance kit, I'm hoping to expand that to 80 feet with modded darts. So, I'm going to unscrew it as per my recon mod guide here, and I will show you the internals and what's in the kit. Alright guys, when you take apart your recon, these are the internals. This is the trigger lock and this is the clip lock, so I'm going to remove those pieces with no intention of putting them back in because I think that they're useless and once you've taken the air restrictor out of a blaster you want to be able to deprime it without having to put a dart in or fire it otherwise you could destroy the back of this plunger tube and with the new power that this kit adds you don't want to do that they are coming out with a stage 2 kit and that video will be available here when they send me mine and I will do a full review on that then it ought to kick the ranges into incredible sorts of, I think it'll break a hundred feet. It should be pretty cool. Over here I've just sorted out the screws. You guys know from my other video that there are two screws in the priming mech, nine main body screws, two longer screws that go in these two wells here and here to anchor the clip in, and then these two screws which are shorter and thicker and anchor in the back plate. Now, I'm going to come into the kit and show you what you get in your orange mod works performance upgrade. First off is a business card saying that this is the stage 2 kit. It's a all metal bolt sled and plunger system. Again that video will be here. It should be really cool. In here I have the new catch spring which is necessary to handle all the force that this 6 kilogram spring delivers. It's a whole lot tougher than the stock spring. I'll show them side by side in the next segment. I also have a solid metal backplate reinforcement that will fit inside here. That's going to help prevent this from breaking under the strain of that new spring. And then I have an all metal minus stainless steel. If you order soon, you can get yours in stainless steel. If not, you'll get aluminum, which works just as well. But this is an all metal catch. This is going to make the entire blaster very sturdy and it can handle thousands of shots after you put these things in. It ought to be really cool. I'm going to show you the pieces that I'll be replacing side by side and then I'll install them in the blaster. This segment is a really quick side by side. This is the stock spring which I can compress easily. This is the new orange mod work spring which is a lot tougher. These are the two catches side by side. The metal catch with its tougher spring and the plastic catch with its regular spring and then this just shows you that I've already installed the metal back plate by tapping it in with a screwdriver into the back of this piece so that's going to be good to go when I put things back together. Now if you've already got your stage 2 mod kit you don't need to watch this segment but if you don't have your stage 2 mod kit the new weakest point in your blaster is going to be the original orange plastic bolt sled and plunger. In order to fix this problem, there are a couple of steps that you have to take. First, you want to get rid of the air restrictor inside the plunger tube. Now, I do that with a Dremel bit that's really long, and it's a 1 8 inch Dremel bit that I can set to a high speed and just Dremel through. And you can see there that I've Dremeled a clean hole through there. Now, I'm going to come in and widen that hole in a minute, but I'll do that between segments. The other thing that you really need to do is use Teflon tape to loop underneath the O-ring to increase the seal, as well as take some sort of lubricant, either lithium grease, which looks like this, or silicon grease, which is a thicker grease, and re-grease everything. 
The other really important thing you need to do is the next part of this blaster that will break is the end of this bolt, or the plunger tube. What you need to do is cut out a piece of craft foam like this. This is basic craft foam, it's not very thick and it's easily compressible. This is what you want, you're going to pad the inside with this. I'm going to put some super glue at the bottom of this plunger and push it down with my finger to get it so that it's reinforced and it, it won't blow up under the force of this new incredible spring. So I'm going to do all of that and put everything back into the blaster and show you what it looks like when it's finished. It's worth making a segment to mention that there are two air release holes on either side of this plunger tube. I think that E-tape is a really simple and effective way to do it. It's one wrap that overlaps a little bit. I know modders who do it with hot glue. I know modders who do it with epoxy. It all works equally well. I've also gone in and added the E-tape. I've expanded that air restrictor hole that I drilled out and I've super glued and allowed the super glue to set in my plunger tube so the foam padding is in there and this is ready to go. In this shot I'm just showing you that I greased the catch with some lithium grease. I feel like this helps it slide better both against the trigger and on the plastic. This final section shows the completed blaster with all of the new internals in it and it's working great. I have a clip here with two stock darts in it and I'm going to take one of my modded hot glue tip darts and load that in there and fire it first. My modded darts are definitely clearing 80 feet, which is awesome. That's what I wanted out of this stage one kit. The unmodded darts are fishtailing just a little bit and getting about 55, 60 feet performing very well. I love this kit. These kits from Orange Mod Works are almost going to change the HVZ game because they're cheap enough for any college kid to afford and it makes your blasters shoot, shoot two to three times as far as it originally did. With stock darts, it's going to make HVZ that much more fun. If you want to buy a kit like this of your own, you can check the link down below in my description box where you can find all of the Orange Mod Works stuff, they're selling things, and you can even pre-order their Stage 2 kit, which again, looks like this, and I'm really looking forward to. An entire stainless steel bolt assembly with sled is just going to be really cool. I can't wait to see what they've got, and I'll continue doing reviews for them into the future. Thanks for watching.